صاحب زادہ محمد علی چودری مور کومنلی نون ایز محمد علی بوگرا اور ایز محمد علی آف بوگرا واز آ پاکستانی بنگالی پولیٹیشن سٹیٹس مین اینڈ آ کریئر ڈپلومیٹ اور سرڈ ایز تھرڈ پرائم منسٹر آف پاکستان اپوائنٹیڈ ان دس کیپیسٹی ان 1953 انٹل ہی سٹیپ ڈون ان 1955 in favor of his finance minister Muhammad Ali. His political career before his enters in the politics, the Bogra family were influential and was active in Bengali politics and Muslim League as a party worker in 1930. He contested in the general elections on a Muslim League platform held in 1937 from Bogra constituency and sat in the opposition in the Bengal Legislative Assembly. Chaudhary also won the election or run against the Muslim League. In 1938, he was elected as a chairman of Bogra district which he served until 1942. He served in the opposition until 1943 when the Muslim League had gained political support and he was made parliamentary secretary to then Chief Minister Khwaja Nazmuddin. In 1946, he was asked by Hussain Sohra Vardi to join his cabinet and subsequently held a ministerial portfolio of health, finance and local government. As health minister, he founded the Dhaka Medical College and the Kolkata Lake Medical College. Bogra supported the Muslim League's call for creation of Pakistan through the partition of British India and successfully defended his constituency in the general elections held in 1945. In 1947, he joined the first constituent assembly while in Dhaka in 1948, he received Governor General Muhammad Ali Jinnah and reportedly dissented on the issue of the populist language movement. Being ex- excluded as an official state language of Pakistan, He strongly advised Chief Minister Sir Khwaja Nazimuddin to restrain Jinnah from announcing the mayor but was rebuked. In 1948, Bogra was asked by Prime Minister Liaquat Ali Khan to be appointed him as the Pakistani ambassador to, to, to the Kingdom of Egypt but he refused. He chose the diplomatic assignment in neighboring country Burma and presented his credential Rangon in 1948. Soon after becoming Pakistan ambassador to Burma, his political philosophy reflected a conservative mindset and took an anti-communist stance when he supported the Burma's military operation against the communists. In 1949, he left Burma when he was appointed as High Commissioner of Pakistan to Canada which he headed the diplomatic mission until 1942. In 1942, he was made ambassador to the United States. In the Foreign Services Society of Pakistan, Bogra gained a reputation of a man who was known for his excessive praise of everything America. He served as Pakistan ambassador until 1953, but he had become dis. Concern of the real situation in Pakistan. When the left wing influence began to grow and the public support for the Soviet Union was visible, Pakistani historians held him widely reasonably as one of the principal personalities putting Pakistan in the alliance of the United States against the Soviet Union. His political career as talent ministry and foreign policy. The issue of language in East in 1952, the rise of the Socialist Party in Pakistan as well as the wild rights in Lahore against the minority Ahmadi in 1953 were the defining factors that led to the dismissal of Prime Minister Khwaja Nazimuddin by then Governor General Ghulam Muhammad on 17 April 1953. Bogra was recalled to Karachi 
فرام واشنگٹن ڈی سی فور فردر کنسلٹیشن بٹ گورنر جنو غلام محمد موڈ ٹو اپوائنٹڈ ہم ایز ا نیو پرائم منسٹر اینڈ دا پریزیڈنٹ آف دا پاکستان مسلم لیگ وچ دا پارٹی ہیڈ ایکسیپٹڈ انڈر پریشر اینڈ ریلوکٹنٹ ہی ایکسیپٹڈ دا نیو اپوائنٹمنٹ فرام دا گورنر جنو غلام محمد بٹ ہی وار مور آف اے ڈپلومیٹک دین پولیٹیشین اور وار ان نون ٹو دا جنرل پبلک Initially, he kept the Federal Ministers of Foreign Affairs and Defense until appointing a new cabinet. Upon taking over the government, Bogra dismissed the elected government of Fazil e Haq on 30 May 1954 and leveled charges against him to about treasury. He had appointed then Defense Secretary Skandar Mirza as the governor, but this appointment only lasted a couple of months. Prime Minister Bogra appointed a new cabinet which was known as Ministry of Talents which included General Ayub Khan, the Army Chief, the Defense Minister, Major General Iskandar Mirza, Interior Minister. His appointment with great admiration in the United States with U.S. Secretary of State John Foster to lead describing Pakistan as bulwark of freedom in Asia and the, and the Republican Party. In the United States, Senator William F. Kennerland endorsing the appointment in the United States Congress. During the same time, U.S. President D. White Eisenhower ordered the immediate shipment of 1,000 tons of wheat to Pakistan. Bogra was eager to strengthen military ties with the United States. However, the Americans moved cautiously to not damage their strong relations with India. instead pressuring and further dictating prime minister bogra into held drug talks to india on a series of bilateral issues his tenure saw him signing multiple treaties with the united states and brought the two countries closer his foreign policy was noted for strong anti soviet agitation which he viewed to russians as imperialist but did not label the same for China despite both being ideologically closed. In 1959, Prime Minister Bogra led Pakistan to attend the Bandung Conference in Indonesia in 1959 when saw the first high-level contact between China and Pakistan. To ethers of the foreign policy of Pakistan, Bogra's our reliance on the United States and his personal anti-communist view destroyed the bilateral relations with the Soviet in 1950s and put Pakistan's foreign policy under the dictation of the United States despite the popular public opinion. Under pressure by the United States, Bogra eventually took initiatives to strengthen ties with India by first addressing the Kashmir issue with India. In 1953, Prime Minister Bogra met with Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru on the sidelines of the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II in 1973 in London. Muhammad Ali Bogra well received Prime Minister Nehru when he paid an official visit to Karachi and Prime Minister Bogra reciprocated the visit in New Delhi soon after. Prime Minister Bogra enjoyed warm and closer relations with Prime Minister Nehru as both eventually agreed on the plebiscite in Indian held Kashmir. But this was not achieved due to Prime Minister Bogra losing support from the left wing sphere of the country. In his approach toward India, Prime Minister Bogra pushed for a stronger military to achieve peace in the subcontinent and are good. When there is more equality of military strength, then I am sure that there will be a greater chance of settlement. Bogra formula, the Bogra formula was a political compromise presented and proposed by Prime Minister Bogra on 7th October 1953 before the Constituent Assembly. Upon taking the control of the Prime Minister's Secretariat, Bogra announced that drafting of the codified constitution was his primary target and within six months he announced a proposal that led to the drafting of the constitution writ. The firm framework proposed the establishment of more effective bicameral parliament that would be composed of National Assembly and the Senate with equal representation from then five provinces. 
ਪੰਜਾਬ ਖੈਬਰ ਪਖਤੂਨਖਾ ਬਲੋਚਿਸਤਾਨ ਸਿੰਧ ਐਂਡ ਬੰਗਾਲ ਆ ਟੋਟਲ ਆਫ 300 ਸੀਟਸ ਵਰ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਰਿਜ਼ਰਵਡ ਫੋਰ ਦ ਨੈਸ਼ਨਲ ਅਸੈਂਬਲੀ ਔਨ ਦ ਬੇਸਿਸ ਆਫ ਪ੍ਰੋਪੋਰਸ਼ਨੇਟ ਰਿਪਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਐਂਡ 50 ਫੋਰ ਦ ਸੈਨੇਟ ਦੈਟ ਵੁੱਡ ਬੀ ਇਕੁਅਲ ਰਿਪਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਫੋਰ ਆਲ ਦ ਫਾਈਵ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਿੰਸਸ ਆਫ ਦ ਕੰਟਰੀ under this framework the larger number of constituencies were given to bengal which had 165 reserve seats in contrast to punjab which had 75 khyber pakhtunkhwa which had 24 sindh which had 19 and balochistan which had 7 reserve seats tribal areas karachi metropolitan area bahawalpur khairpur balochistan seat states union were combined at 24 reserve seats In this framework Bengal had given more seats due to its social homogeneity in the national assembly than the combined reserved seats for the four provinces and the federal capital which all were socially heterogeneous and ethnically diverse but combined the reserved seats in the four provinces were in balance with in Bengal in the bicameral parliament both the resources were given equal power and in case of a conflict between the two houses the issue was to be presented before a joint session the bogra framework also addresses the check and balance to avoid the permanent domination by any five provinces which were a provision was made that if the president was elected from the four provinces then the prime minister was to be elected from east bengal and vice versa the president was to be elected for a term of 5 years from the indirect election by the electoral college formed by both house of national assembly and the senate the supreme court of pakistan was to be given more power and institutional judicial independence that would permanently replace the islamic clergy to decide if a law was in accordance with the basic teachings of quran or not the bagra formula was highly popular and widely welcomed by the people as opposed to the basic principles of committee led by prime minister nath mudin as it was seen as a great enthusiasm among the masses as they considered it as a plan that could bridge the gulf between the two wings of pakistan and would act as a source of unity for the country the compromise did not settle its ground when governor general gulam muhammad threatened by curbing of his power dissolved the constituent assembly 1954 with the support of pakistan military and civil bureaucracy one unit formula bogra formula he began working towards the controversial one unit program that integrated the four provinces into a single nation state and begin advocating for such ideas when he acquitted there will be no bengalis no punjabis no sindhis no pathans no balochis no bahawalpuris no khairpuris the disappearance of these groups will strengthen the integrity of pakistan dismissal and ambassadorship to the united states of mohammad ali bogra On 4th August 1955 the cabinet accepted Governor General Sir Malik Ulam Muhammad's request for a leave of absence due to ill health. They chose Interior Minister Skandar Mirza to replace him and he was sworn in as Acting Governor General on 7th August. Soon after the appointment Acting Governor General Mirza began having confrontation with Prime Minister Bogra on regional disparity. So both were Bengali and were from Bengal and forced the Prime Minister Bogra to resign that ended Bogra's administration. Acting Governor General Mirza also dismissed Malik Ghulam and sent a letter of notification in the United Kingdom to remain him of political developments. Governor General Mirza instead appointed Bogra as Pakistan ambassador to the United States. then he recalled amjad ali ho was appointed as finance minister this was the services of the muhammad ali bogra and he also worked with general ayub khan